Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create your very own paper earrings like these two and the ones I'm already wearing. So get your paper and your jewelry findings and let's get started. The first design I'm showing you is the bobble earrings. For these you will need a circle puncher and some super cute paper. Pick your patterns and punch a few circles. For one bubble you will need six circles which will be glued together so take your circle and fold it in half Do this with the other ones as well. Next, take two circles and glue them together. Add glue only on one half of the circle. Add the rest of the circles as well. When you reach the end, you need to glue the first circle to the last one to close the bubble. You can add more circles if you wish, but I think six is just fine. Assemble the earrings and you're done.
The second design I want to show you is the sort of origami wreath earrings. For these earrings you will need a few 1 inch wide strips of paper and some jewelry findings. You'll need to fold them to create this sort of wreath. You can have as many corners as you want, it depends mainly on the paper thickness. So take your strips of paper and mark at every 2 inches. The length should be twice the width of your paper strips. Cut your strips. These should be 1 by 2 inches. You will end up having lots of strips like this. And I'm going to show you how to fold the strips to get something like this. First, take your strips. and fold them in half lengthways. Next, with the opening on the top side, Fold the corners towards the bottom. So we folded the strips in half, then with the opening on the top side, we folded the corners towards the bottom. Next, we need to fold the strips in half. Now we have to start uh, assembling the wreath. So take your element with the opening on the top side. Take a second one. And you will insert the tips of the second one into the top of the first one. So insert the tips of the second element into the top of the first one and push it at until it hits the bottom. Do the same with the next ones. I used seven elements for my wreath. If you want uh, you can use eight or six, it all depends on the thickness of your paper. Once you get the hang of it, you'll want to make more of these. When you reach the end, you will need to insert the tips of the first element into the last one. Then just push everything together. 
After making the wreath, I do recommend inserting a bit of glue in each element so it will be fixed into place, just like I'm showing you now. Make a hole in one of the corners and add the hooks. The last design is the origami leaf that looks something like this. For this you will need a 3 inch square which you will cut in half on diagonal creating two triangles for the two earrings. With the wrong side facing you Accordion fold the triangle starting from the base towards the tip. Trim the tip of the triangle Then repeat the process with the other one Fold it in half Then take your jump ring and slide it towards the middle Next, you will need to add some glue to close the leaf shape and leave it to dry. When the glue has dried, pull the sides to open the shape You can trim the tip of the leaf if you wish Then add your hooks and you're done. To get a more finished look, I do recommend adding a layer of varnish on all the designs. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!